Girl power. Yeah. Okay. You could be a man too. It doesn't matter. Okay. This energy, it's all about self-love. You know, I'm getting nine of cups, nine of pentacles energy here. I could be talking to somebody who's like happily single. Um, you're doing whatever you need to do to find your own happiness. I'm getting the energy of like, I am, I'm talking to someone who's like in this energy. I am responsible for my own happiness. Nobody else is responsible for it. I can do what I want to do, go where I want to go, make myself happy if I want to, right? If I want to travel, I'm going to go travel. If I want to buy that outfit, I can buy that outfit. If I want them shoes, I can buy more than one pair. I don't have to buy one pair, right? Man or woman, it does not matter. I feel like you are in the energy of putting yourself first okay and you you are this is great you know your worth and your value um and you're willing to wait Ooh, you're willing to wait for the right person soulmate energy is out here soulmate energy is out here honey finding happiness within you before you find your person i feel like i'm talking to somebody here who you know how some people say collective like um somebody completes me or they complete me i don't feel like that's the energy that you're in i feel like you really totally feel like you complete yourself okay and uh, you know even if you've been through some things i feel like you you're healing or you have healed right and you're in this energy now of like i'm gonna work on me until i find the right person i'm not going to settle here so you have a soulmate coming into your life um that's gonna challenge you and help you to grow and it's gonna be an undeniable connection okay i feel like you're gonna challenge each other because you're already in this self-love energy Okay, so the two of y'all, let's see what else is going on. I saw some interference on the bottom of the deck and I'm trying to ignore it. It'll come out because I feel like some uh, some people, somebody here is about to try to get in here, honey. And show me what else for the collective. Yeah, there goes that code. Let me just see. What's this about? Codependence here. Uh-oh, what was that? um hold on this might be good i don't usually pick them up but i'm gonna pick this up okay this is good you might have a secret admirer here we got this codependent somebody's about to be uh, this is your other your rib okay it's <laughs> somebody this is your other rib your other half Y'all about to be stuck together okay codependency is not this is not a negative energy here because it's on the on this is somebody who's gonna put you on a pedestal okay bro sis they're gonna put you on a pedestal they are not gonna want you to change this is somebody new here you could have already met this person or maybe you haven't met this person yet okay somebody who's gonna treat you like royalty make you feel loved and cherished they're gonna support you show me more here for the collection um yeah, y'all are going to help each other grow and heal. Shadow work. The, for some of y'all, this could be same sex. For some of y'all, this could be somebody of a totally different race here. Okay, I'm just going to say that. I feel like the two of you are going to help each other continue to do the healing work. The, the connection is going to be very healing and like magnetic and like beautiful and wonderful i feel like the relationship may trigger you to express your shadow side but it's going to be in a healthy way because i feel like you're already on that path in that journey the two of y'all are going to learn a lot from each other this person wants to hold your hand this person's going to have your back along the way they're going to help you through the process they're not going to trigger you and run and then be like I ghost you or something crazy, okay? Show me what else. Fast lane. Chariot energy. Somebody could have cancer in their charts. Something is going to feel good about this person. I feel like it's going to be a rush. Like a rush. Somebody here could be from Kentucky. They may like to go to like... They might gamble horses. If they don't gamble horses, maybe somebody loves to ride horses. They they go to an equestrian center. Maybe somebody has a love for horses or something here. If that's not the case, because that's not going to resonate with everybody, there's something about this is going to feel good, okay? You're not going to be afraid to, to show this person and be vulnerable and charge ahead with them. And the love is going to last, okay? This is actually good energy. 
Show me more here. Parental love. Somebody here may have children, okay? If you don't have children, this person may want to have children here. You, if you resonate as divine feminine, you may be a single parent right now. This person could be a single parent right now, male or female, doesn't matter. Somebody here could have tattoos on a sleeve on their lower arm, on their lower arm, okay? Somebody loves to wear feathers or hats or something here. This is giving like real eclectic. Somebody here is like a real eclectic. Um, this person may want to have, what in the hell is this? What is this energy? Hold on, y'all. Show me this devil in disguise. Rocky start. Okay. And what's this Rocky start and devil in disguise? Let me get some more. Okay. New romance. All right. I was getting a little worried around here, y'all. I'm just saying. So this devil in disguise energy, I feel like, I don't know if you are going to be like, is this my person in your head? Eight of swords energy overthinking some shit, right? Um, you might encounter a third party. Remember I was saying I see this interference and I'm trying to ignore the hell out of it. Like you could be in this energy like I want to ignore. Maybe somebody has to ignore a meddling third party. The meddling third party could be anybody, okay? It could be somebody's ex. It could be someone's child's mother, father, family member, whoever. I feel like there's some people, somebody here like doesn't want to see your person like put you on a pedestal or they don't like it or something that's the energy that i'm getting and that may cause some problems or make you feel nervous okay so in the beginning you might be like i'm not about to go through this again and then be like no i'm good let me cut this off okay but then new romance came out so it's like this new love that's coming in for you it's a positive new beginning Show me about this new romance. They're definitely a soulmate. Yeah, this is going to be somebody who's your can we be lovers and friends. Hey. <laughs> Listen, friends first. This is going to be your new bestie. I believe so. Friends first. You are attracting a new love that will begin as a friendship. It will develop into something more. Okay transitional love so some of y'all this may start out as a friend somebody might be crushing on you and they're not telling you they're crushing on you and then boom one day y'all are talking and hanging out having a good time you know um you know being friendly one thing might lead to the next or whatever and i'm not just saying physical but i'm saying like a conversation this person might get the courage to tell you like i really low-key like you like can we be more than friends here whatever it is okay you're attracting a new relationship okay I feel like in the meantime, in between time, you're going to have somebody who's who is trying to interfere with you. This could be a meddling ex from the past who's going to try to come back towards you and be like, hey, let's just hang out. I, you have a love-hate relationship with this person. This is the person from the past that always had an excuse about why they couldn't give you what they what you needed and um, the, why they were always so busy or uh, they may have ghosted you in and out of your life. You know, you know, you can't live with them, can't live without them type of this situation. Um, the sex might have been real, real good. This person could have been like a really good kisser or what, it was a deep, intense attraction here. But this was like the person that I told you triggered you and it was negative. They might try to come back and get them like a lick in before this new person, okay? So be careful with that. Just be careful with that. All right, what do we, look at you, you walking away and moving on. What you mean, Anaris Tarot? Eight of Cups, Six of Swords. What you mean? I ain't going back to my ex. Eight of Cups. I don't. I, that doesn't work for me anymore. I'm walking away from the manipulation. Six of Swords. I'm about to go mind my business. I don't want anything but new. That's what you're saying, and that's what the energy looks like. So y'all are not. Some of y'all not gonna be fooled by this past person. Some of y'all may slide back in. Let them slide back in one more time because it's good. I don't know. Show me more here for the collective. What else does the collective need to know here? 
the nine of pentacles i told y'all y'all were y'all were in nine of pentacles and nine of cups energy out here just showing yourself all this love doing what it is you need to do for yourself independence throw your hands up at me show me more for the collective the high priestess you have a strong intuition here make sure you trust it show me more for the collective Pisces energy, Taurus for the Capricorn energy, the hangman. Hey You're not trusting your intuition. Hangman hey and the high priestess, you better listen to your intuition when this past person comes back. Make a good decision. Make the right decision. Show me more about the situation. Queen of Wands in reverse. Who the hell is this? That's this past person who's trying to keep you stuck. Male or female, doesn't matter. Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of y'all really are dealing with Pisces because High Priestess is out here with the hangman. You know, this is somebody who, like I said, the sex was real good. They don't want to see you move on and you healing and doing good without them. You single, looking good. And this person is all over you like back pockets. They look real good. Do not do not fall for the okie doke. Show me more for the collective. What else do they need to know? Somebody does not want you. I'm telling you, this is a player. This person sleeps around a lot. The Queen of Wands with the Knight of Wands here, they sleep around a lot. They might have something. Don't sleep with them. Show me what else does the collective need to know, honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, you moving on. They don't want you to move on, like I said. Please don't go. Oh, this person is burdened. Okay, Ten of Wands, they do not want you to leave. They're about to say whatever and do whatever they can, trying to think of a master plan. Knight of Pentacles with the Magician and the Ten of Wands, trying to think of a master plan to keep you from being in this Six of Swords energy moving on. What else does the collective need to know? Don't fall for it. Page of Pentacles energy. You might be dealing with a younger Earth sign. Show me more here about this Page of Pentacles. You're moving on to a new offer, though. They don't want you to move the hell on. You're sweet, kind, and loving. You may get a lot of attention here, but you're not paying no attention. It's like somebody's running behind you. You might have several people running behind you because of how good you look or how sweet you are. I feel like you're not paying somebody attention, though. This Five of Wands just fell on top of this Page of Pentacles, right? The Six of Swords on the Page of Pentacles is you moving on to a new offer, Right, something that starts out as a friendship, right? But it's gonna grow into something else. And it's some people, some interference, like we talked about. People gonna be competing and fighting for you, but you need to use your discernment, use your intuition here, trust it. We already talked about that. Show me more. This three of cups just fell on top of the nine of pentacles. That is you having a living your best life. Okay. Nine. Uh, I want to say nine of cups again. I feel like this is you just having a good time living your life. I feel like there's several people though who are like about to get at you. They are. Yeah. There are several people who want to get at you right now. Nine of cups on the bottom of the day. The seven of pentacles is just came out crossing on top of this three of um cups. So I'm gonna just tell you this somebody here that's not gonna want to wait, right? Remember, we saw that fast lane energy when you and this new person meet each other. Once y'all establish feelings and you're no longer friends, and you're like, you get that spark and you realize you're my soulmate, I feel like I've known you forever. Um, you fall in love, you're not gonna want to wait. And then, boom, you got some competition and some fighting coming in, honey. You got several people. Yeah, you do. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. And the Hierophants. And the Six of Pentacles. Hello? Mm hmm. Hmm. What else does the collective need to know? The Eight of Wands. What about this Eight of Wands? The Strength card. Somebody's trying to hold back. Slow down is what I'm getting, you know? What's this Eight of Wands? 
Leo energy, strong Leo energy, temperance. Somebody's trying to temper themselves and slow down because I feel like three of wands on the bottom of the deck, you're going to want to like, there's going to be a lot of communication with this person, judgment energy, three of wands energy. Somebody's trying to chill, four of uh, swords, okay? Somebody's trying to chill, but somebody's trying to temper themselves and not do too much or don't move too soon. Somebody might want to move in with you, Sagittarius, Leo energy here. The, this new connection is going to be balanced. I feel like maybe things are going to be moving real fast. You're going to try to like slow yourself down, think logically, think clearly, make the right decision, make the best decision, try to be logical about it because I feel like you're going to be overwhelmed with the emotion I'm getting here. Somebody literally might be moving though. I don't, traveling. It's something about the future, right? Show me more here for the collectors. The Ace of Swords. Spirit is saying, yep, you're telling the truth. You're telling the truth. The sun card at the... Ooh, Jesus. Let me show. Okay, pause, y'all. The Ace of Swords came out. As I was saying all of this, that's a victory. This King of Wands came out. And this is good energy for me. King of Wands with the Ace. Somebody wants to talk to you. They want to take action. This King of Wands is going to be ready. This person's going to be ready. Bottom of the deck is the Sun card, the Ten of Cups, and the Emperor. Somebody who's going to protect you. Seven of Wands. Six of Wands. Uh-huh. Somebody might work in security or military or something. I don't know. Um, this is somebody here is going to make you really, really, really happy. They look good. They're attractive, honey. They got some swag on them, honey. They, they, when they sit down, they sit down with their legs wide open like, eh. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. This is what I'm getting here. Happiness, love, okay, joy, family, like, hello, the star. This is protection, okay? This is somebody who's going to protect you. Aquarius energy. And the seven of wands, this person is going to be extremely protective and they are going to fight for you, especially if this other com person come back in from the past trying to play games with you and suck you back in. This king of wands is going to be like, uh-uh, no, you're not. Hold on just a minute. This person has a lot of wisdom and experience here with the hermit. This is somebody here who I feel like is experienced in life. Look at this, four of wands, honey. They're going to do everything they can to protect their household, their family, and their divine partner. Rightfully so. Anything else? Anything else? The hair font is back out here. This is a strong, stable, with the four pentacles on the bottom of the deck, okay? But there's somebody from the past holding on to you. I don't know who this is and what they want. But we're not going to spend no time, no more time on the past. Just be aware of it and trust your intuition, all right? So let me pull from um, one more deck. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, please. You need a personal reading. That information is below in the description box, okay? Any more messages for my... Okay. Deception and envy. I'm telling you, somebody here is wearing a mask. I feel like there's going to be several people... Somebody gonna lose though. We have deception and envy, the universe. Somebody's trying to deceive you from the past. Okay, be careful with that. Five of cups here and passion ignited. Be careful that you don't get back involved with this past person because the sex is good or you have a passionate moment. You know, oops, you just slipped and fell on the deed. Like, no, you know, we're not doing that. I mean, I'm just just saying and then on the bottom of the deck is harmony spirit is saying stay at home do what you need to do read a book your cup this this harmony this balance between you and this person that's coming in the new person the new person um awareness and then i'm seeing awareness transformation awareness and truth so the truth has been revealed to you about this past person Okay. I'm going to read the universe energy because I haven't I haven't seen this card. I don't really. So I, I would take it as your intuition, but we're going to read that and never close the reading out. Okay, here we go. Universe. It says, 
You come far on your journey and it's time to be rewarded for your efforts. This card symbolizes completion, triumph, peace, liberation, and fulfillment. Everything you strive for is within your reach. Meet it halfway and grab it. The universe is the last of the major arcana cards and reflects the work that you've accomplished on your travels. Yeah, somebody definitely traveling somewhere. But more importantly, it represents the wisdom that you have gained along the way. So trust that wisdom and that discernment and, and your intuition. You should now honor and acknowledge the truly wonderful soul that you are and accept that and, and accept the vital part that you play in the bigger scheme of life. The world is yours to command. And if you'll feel free and you're free to travel in whatever direction your heart desires, which is that Eight of Cups energy and that Six of Swords energy, right? You're connecting to everything in the cosmos. The universe card is a reminder that the same energy making up the stars in the sky is the same energy that's coursing through the universe um, is in each and every individual. Okay, so in ancient times, many believed that each star was the soul of one person. They also believed that those souls shine so brightly uh, to guide others through the darkness. And so too can your wise soul. So this is like the world card, basically. Don't go back to that old cycle with that old stale ass person. Okay, the cereal box was open. It's been open now for a whole month. It wasn't sealed back. It's stale. It ain't going to taste good when you go back to it. Don't let this person deceive you and then starting a new, a new, another cycle of the same old, same old. Move forward, okay? I love y'all. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'll see you later, okay?